doing? Hey, Jeff. How you doing? Good, good, good to meet you. Yeah, good to finally see you. Yeah. I think that I can add. I think whose bag I've got you. That's mine. That's yours. Put it down here for you. So, bathrooms in there. Shower. All the goodies. Looks very nice. Morning, Joe. Morning. Welcome to Tuane. I hope you're going to enjoy your stay here with us this week. We've got a beautiful weather this morning. Uh, mostly we're going to be hunting on our private land. Uh, we're in the Limpopo Valley, 40 minutes drive from the Limpopo River. We'll also be hunting there this week. Maybe look for some big bushbuck and hopefully put you on one. You'll be using a 7x5.7, nice bush calibre, 170 grain bullet. And uh, we've also got the 6.5 for a little bit longer distance shooting if we need to. So yeah, look forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. It's a little different hunting here than where I just came from, it's where I, the last part of the hunt was open grass area. And this here, as you can see, is gonna be a little tougher shooting. I've been in it yeah. before and, and hunted it and it's it's doable, you know, but it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. But yes, sir. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we had a lot of rain, so it's very thick, a lot of grass. Um, we haven't hunted much this last past year, so we should see a lot of animals. And as long as we can see them, we should be able to get close, you know and right. put you on some good trophies. So hopefully it works out, let's see how it goes. Yeah, looking forward okay. to it. Thank you. I tend to just tell you exactly while we're on it, where to aim and more or less, but little, let's just have it. A little behind the shoulder and third of the way up. Yes, sir. A little more third. Half to the third yes, way up. Like I said, if you're not comfortable, you tell me and no. we do what we need to do. It doesn't matter anyway because I'm not going to shoot where it's supposed to be.
these are two white rhino bulls. Very difficult to tell the difference between bulls and cows. Just see in the back, it almost looks like a piece of skin hanging down between the legs. And uh, he's a white rhino. See how wide their mouths are, grazers. Uh, a little bit bigger in body size than the black rhino. The black rhino is a little bit smaller. They've got a hooked lip and they tend to browse. So uh, don't see a lot of them still with horns. Most of them are dehorned because of the poaching. Right. How old are they? These aren't very old. I'd say the bull here on the left is probably about five years old. The bull on the right, probably seven. rifles and stuff in here. Probably going to move them over to the other truck that we're going to go with to the river. So our plan for this afternoon is probably go to the river. Bushbuck tend to move late afternoon you know, just before dark, so we'll probably only head back here after dark. We're here at the Limpopo River this afternoon, looking for bushbuck. Maybe if we get lucky, big waterbuck or uh, warthog. So we'll see what happens this afternoon. Probably stay here until dark and head back to the lodge. We're about 40 minutes away from there, so uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, on the border between South Africa and Botswana this afternoon. We've got the Limpopo River here. On the other side is Botswana. Pretty neat. Yeah, he says there's a place where the river is flooded. We've seen a big bushbuck ram. So let's walk up here, the wind's good. Let's see if we maybe spot him. Good stalk next to the river here this afternoon. Saw quite a few bushbuck. It's very thick, difficult. So uh, we'll try again tomorrow. See what goes on. All right. We have a um, comment to the rubs uh, with the uh, avocado mayo and some chicken stir fry. That's, uh, Looks good. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank you. We're back at the river this morning, still dark. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to 
drive up here, probably get off, do a little bit of spot and stalk, and um, hopefully early morning we'll get some bushbuck moving around. So it's a little bit overcast. Let's see what happens. Optimistic as yesterday we were here. Yeah. You know, we've seen quite a few bush buck. Yes, sir. A um, couple shooters, but they gave us a slip. Yeah. But we're going to come back here this morning and see if we can't turn that around. We're just, we're heading back here into the river, into this yes, thick sir. stuff huh, where they're hanging out. And yes, sir. See if we'll we see, get lucky. See what happens. Yeah. Sounds good. All Let's right. So Joe, we walked this morning, had a good walk, don't know how many miles we did, a <laughs> couple of hours, Yeah. and I don't know, how many bushbuck do you think we saw? Probably 25 or 30, maybe more. So a lot of bushbuck, the wind was swirling slightly, I don't think the wind was in our favour this morning. Saw a few young rams, you know, had some potential, but never saw the one that we wanted to, no. to get a shot on, so... Um, Seen those. Warthogs, I was thinking yeah. about shooting that one for a European mountain. Yeah. You never know, I might see another one a little bit bigger. Definitely. Well, Joe, we're back at base camp this afternoon. See if we can get a ostrich with an extra long neck. <laughs> or some chickens. <laughs> Change the species up and <laughs> see what we run into. But yeah, let's see what we can find. Hopefully, maybe we run into some Nyala, Black Impala or something that we haven't seen yet. Big Eland. Or Big Eland. Yeah. Let's see what happens this afternoon. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's go. go.
found a little bit of blood but not much. I actually saw him take off again. Um, so what we'll do is we'll show the trackers where the blood is and they'll probably come back early morning and take that track. The sun's already gone um, so it would be almost impossible to search at night with a flashlight with all the grass and vegetation that we've got. So they'll come back first thing in the morning first light and see if they can find it. Okay, okay. Right, let's go. Tonight we are having a spaghetti with some homemade basil pesto and we have a grilled chicken breast in okay. the sun-dried tomato sauce, it's a okay. kind of creamy sauce and we have homemade fresh baked bread as well and we have some uh, melon salad with uh, some feta cheese. Looks amazing, looks thank great. You. Thank you so much, yep. enjoy it. Yep, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Day three, morning of day three. We're back at the river this morning. Weather looks, it looked a lot better early morning. There's some cloud cover moving in right now, but it's a little bit cooler than yesterday. So a lot of bushbuck yesterday morning. Yeah, we did. So um, we're gonna work our way down to the river. It's right in the back here. Well, Joe, uh, you made a perfect shot on this bush buck. Um, we weren't too far from the river, probably about 100 yards or so. He came towards the river and he probably stood here bleeding out right next to the river. There's a lot of blood here and uh, as he expired, just slid right into the river. We can see the blood going all the way down. 
and we do not see the bushbuck. Um, so it's a little bit of a catch-22 at the moment. Hopefully we can think of some kind of a plan. He's still on our side, on the South African side. The border's right in the middle of the river. Um, but, you know, a lot of crocodiles in that water. Um, so we'll just have to see, see what we can figure out. <sighs> Alright, just hold there. Just hold. Go. Thanks. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Bad luck on that one, but finally got him. We yeah, were lucky. Came up right there in the root reed. What a, I never so, had that happen before. <laughs> beautiful bushbuck dropped into the river here. We were thinking of a way to get him out. We wasn't sure if he's going to pop up and float. So guys were on their way to get a little boat, some treble hooks. And as we're standing here, I just see him pop up. And he was only two, three yards from the side. So I quickly jumped in and grabbed him. Beautiful bushbuck. Yeah, no. well done. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, we got, to, we got, we got him <laughs> after we made that shot, yeah. and uh, he took off in the thick stuff. And I figured he was right here by the tree when I seen him last. And uh, what's his name, Moses? Yes, sir. Our, found some blood and followed him to here. A lot of good blood here, and thought he took off that way, came back, and then. Looked right on the edge in. of the bank, he would so he can tell right into the river. You can tell he went right in. So, well, let's put him up for some photos. Yep, and uh, get some photos taken. Beautiful old bushbuck, great shot. Nice one. I'm yeah, happy beautiful. with happy beautiful. with this. We got down into this open area. We spotted the two rams, and we quickly had to put a plan together. Unfortunately, we only had one tracker with us. So Martin, our cameraman, we had to put him to work and help flush these guys out. So they flushed them out, me and you were waiting for them and we got a perfect shot at one. Um, unfortunately, uh, with Martin helping out, couldn't film the shot. Um, but yeah, we're lucky. Good, exciting hunt. Done a lot of miles the last three days. This morning, probably walked about two, two and a half hours, probably did about eight miles or so. Um, so we put in the effort, we put in the work, um, it just finally had to come together. But yeah, beautiful bushbuck, and I hope you're happy with it. Oh yeah, very pleased with him. Couldn't ask for much better than a uh, good hunt, good stock. Seen a lot of bushbuck in here. Yes, sir. And got the one that we wanted, and very pleased with that. Well done, Joe. Yep, thank Congratulations. you. Thank you. Okay, we for lunch we have a pizza, homemade. That is got some ham, some mushrooms, and some peppers with some cheese. And over here we have a roasted pear salad with some avocado and brochet sauce, which is dressing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. So we came back here just after lunch today. After I wounded a. Impala last night. We looked for it just up to about dark and decided to back off, let him bed down for the night and see what happens. So we got a couple of the trackers and grew on here. They're out ahead of us now, trying to find them again and then we're gonna follow in behind them here shortly, see what we come up with. Look at that Impala, Joe. <laughs> wow, all right. That's nice Impala. Thanks, guys. Thank Good job. Thank you. Good thank job. You. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Look at the set of horns on this thing. He's a little... Wow. A little bit stiff. Yeah, he's a little. But I'm glad we got him. Beautiful Impala. Oh, beautiful. That's awesome. Beautiful Impala. Well, Joe, looks like our luck has turned a bit, yeah. finally. After the bushbuck, we got back to the lodge, had lunch this afternoon. 
we decided just to come and look for a final time. We could maybe find this Impala. Uh, we looked at the footage, the shot didn't look too bad. Uh, so we came back out here and what, we haven't been here for how long? 45 minutes maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the trackers, they were, we went off looking for blood. They followed the, the track, what we thought, and led it right to them, what, 200 yards from yeah, where we from, seen the blood from, last from night? from where we left it last night. Yeah. Last night the light was just fading on us too fast. This morning, obviously, we went to the river very early. The trackers actually came through this morning and looked if they could find it. Um, but there was two males and they were on the track of the other one that wasn't shot. Right. Uh, so I said, let's just come back and make sure we don't find it. It's a beautiful impala, nice and wide. A really, really good representative. Um, so really nice impala, well done. Comes up and back. And yeah, wide, eh? Back up, got some nice tips on him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's 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 nice. I'm glad we found him. That yes, sir. Turned out turned out good. Yeah, very good. Well done. Yep. Thank you again. No, you're yep. welcome. Here. You're welcome. All right. This is the male. He's friendly. The female, not so friendly. There's the impala. Joe shot earlier today. Uh, we brought it to a cheetah sanctuary. Uh, so nothing goes to waste. Like a house cat first. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go, see you go, cry. Go, 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 go. Come, come, come! You want to hear him growl? Yeah. Come, 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 come! I'm just scared he jumps me. I don't want to get bit. This is the female. I think they'd be going for that neck and just... Yeah. Now look, they have been fed today. Oh, they... So they might not be that over hungry, but uh, I can bet you it's going to look differently tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could imagine. They're not too aggressive with it. Just thanking you for that Impala.
We're just here at the sanctuary, the cheetah sanctuary, and brought the impala over here. We got earlier, feed them. Um, head out now, head back to Twane, to the lodge, make a plan, go out, maybe look for a Niala or Eland, and see what the rest of the day feels out from there. Pretty exciting, <laughs> big eland. Uh, unfortunately, we've got the seven by fifty-seven with us, so we wanted to get close to make sure we got the penetration we needed. So we were on the sticks probably three times, just couldn't get get enough time to make the shot happen. So I think we'll grab the three seventy-five tomorrow and put that in the truck with us. Um, so we've got enough rifle. You now we're going to put him down with. Oh yeah. It yeah. was exciting there. Eh? Oh yeah, we got close. I mean, it was <laughs> that far away from almost get, getting And it's like. a big old bull, beautiful ivory tips. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. Dew lap, big, tough, beautiful bull. No, he was good. Just gave us a slip there at the end, but it's last light. Um, so yeah, don't want to take any chances this time of the day. No, I don't want another <laughs> Impala encounter. <laughs> Okay, so it's uh, Thursday, the 8th of April, and we're heading out to see if we can't get a eland or a niala. We seen a great big eland last night and put a stock on him. He made the slip on us, so we're gonna see what we can do this morning. Just got done having a nice breakfast here at the lodge. Ron's gonna be showing up here anytime with the vehicle. I think he's here now. and. We're gonna head out and see what happens and go from there. Quickly gonna check an open space up here. It's early morning. See if we don't spot any animals out there in the open in the sun. see them like that if you want to shoot one. They'll be gone. Look at that. 
standing the other side. <laughs> He's like, which side do you want? He's like, he knows I'm not interested in him. He's just laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking his tongue out. There's a shooter. There's a shooter. Nice, beautiful book. Well, Joe, end of day four, sun setting. Another beautiful day in Africa. I don't know how many miles we drove today. <laughs> and uh, we tracked in Eland this morning so thick right now with all the rain that we had so it's pretty difficult to spot these nyala and late afternoon we were working these open areas we spotted two bulls working their way towards one we got off got real close and uh, he made a perfect shot didn't go 40 yards and expired so well done yeah no it was uh it was a great hunt and uh, like i said it was a long day but it ended up paying off in the end it's the third of my Spiral slam, I got the, the kudu, bush buck, the niala, and just the elan is all I need to finish that. So, but I'm really happy with him. I mean, he's going to look good on the wall. I mean, beautiful animal. Can't ask for much better than that. Yeah. Well done. Yep, thank you very much. Congratulations. Yep, beautiful niala. Yeah, so we just got back, uh, just got a niala just down the road here a little bit ago, just finished up with him and then got a surprise dinner out here in the boon in the African bush so kind of looking forward to that. Um, we are having some snack uh, potato chips, we have some meatballs and over here we have uh, some cheese 
with some uh, strawberry jam and uh, some cream and always just a little cannabis looks delicious thank you so much yep thank you Tonight we are having a push pack. This has been prepared in the snizzle way, fried in, on the fire. And the uh, potatoes, uh, crushed pepper potatoes. Um, and we have some greens, it's mixed with some cream beans and some asparagus in it. Okay. And season in the lemon, marinade. And then we have um, fresh uh, green pepper corn sauce. And over here is a sun dried tomato salad and with some olives. Morning, Martin. Yeah, so we're gonna drive around a bit with all the COVID stuff you need to get tested today <laughs> yeah. before, before you leave. So uh, we're gonna drive around this morning until about 10 or so, see what we see. And then we've got to head into town, get Joe tested so that he can get back home, hopefully. Maybe I'll fail and I'll have to stay here. <laughs> that would be tough. Yeah, <laughs> really tough. Two more weeks here. <laughs> So we're about five miles from camp. It's getting dark, almost dark. I'm gonna hook up the spotlight and see if we see any night critters on our way back. Grass is tall, so hopefully we get to see something it's working. Good stuff, yep. cooking with gas. got back from uh, doing a little night hunting looking for some diker or varmints and didn't have any luck so we're just gonna go have some niala for dinner and sit by the fire and have a plan for tomorrow I guess okay once again good evening um, tonight's dinner we are having niala the one you just shot Right. Yep. So it has done in the stuffed way. We have stuffed with some mushroom and some sun dried tomatoes. It's good. I okay. seen it earlier when we cut it off the. Yeah, yeah, in the big. In the, yeah. It looks a lot better one. than it did earlier. <laughs> yeah, you have to I'm try. I'm sure it. it's going to be delicious. That would be great. Thank you so yep. much. Thank you. Enjoy it. All right. Well, 
one day if Joe decides to finally show up, we can probably go and look for that elusive eland. Oh, here he is. Good afternoon, Joe. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up here. We've seen a red harder beast in this area. Um, see if we maybe see him better down somewhere. This time of day when it starts eating up, they tend to bed down. Wind's pretty good. So let's walk up there and see what we find. and they're fast. It's hot, it's in the middle of the day. We finally got him. Well done. Finally. What, we've been on four hours? At least four hours. At least four hours. Spotted him in a thick, thick bush. You hit him, he maybe went, what, 50 yards? Yeah. Went down. Look at that bull. With a rifle. Ah, look at him. With a mass on him. <laughs> That's a dandy there. Beautiful bull. Beautiful bull. Oh, yeah. Well, Joe, we had a tough morning. Yeah, to say the least. <laughs> it's the uh, middle of the day. It's your last day on safari with us. Uh, tomorrow you're heading back home. Uh, we got onto this red otter beast this morning. And man, did you know they can move that fast? He put some miles on, <laughs> so, so did we. Yeah, so uh, we got him finally in a thick bush where we got a shot at him. So he had to take a quick shot and um, made a perfect shot. He only went 50 yards, went down, just had to finish him off. And yeah, what do you think? He's impressive. He's got a lot of mass. He's thick, high, he comes up tall, got a good sweep, and he's... Uh, He's really impressive. I'm really beautiful happy. animal. Oh, I'm really beautiful. He's, and big body. Yes, and he's, sir. He's in good and he's shape. prime. Yeah, he's, he's in prime. He's in good shape. He's so a beautiful animal. Congratulations. Yeah. Well done. Thank you we'll again. Probably go and have, have lunch yeah. and see what happens this afternoon. I'll just go to Guinea Fell. Is he afraid of me if I run over to him? How many, what's that? Eight feet? Nine feet?
There's no more, huh? Evening, uh, we set up some snacks for Mr. Joe. It was a nice to meet him. So, Mr. Joe, we wish you a lovely trip as you are going back. It was nice to meet you here. Yeah, Hope you to too. see you again next time. Yep, thank you. You did a great job. I appreciate all you did. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tadiki. Thank you. Well, Joe, it's the end of the week. I hope you had a good safari. Hope, hope you enjoyed the hospitality. We got some awesome trophies with us this week. Although it took a little bit of hard work, both of us are, are tired tonight. Yeah, <laughs> we had a hard day, a long day. All your trophies, you know, we quickly scored them and it looks like all of them are gold medal and better. So that's just awesome. Yeah. And uh, from our side, from Twane Safaris, I hope you really enjoyed your trip. And it was great. The animals were plentiful and we picked and choose and got the right ones and you went above and beyond my expectations I mean you did a great job I mean covered every everything you could do and it well, shows I appreciate you know, it. With the, the animals you got a great lodge there it's five star and thank you, you sir rustic and yeah African style <laughs> with the thatch roof and the animals and the woodwork and it's really really nice and the food was outstanding had a great time here Totally. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, I did. I mean, it's all, I'll definitely be back. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, cheers. Cheers. To a great time and a great safari. Yep. Uh, I want to thank you to Martin with the African Sun Productions for filming and taking pictures, being along with me on the safari to capture all the, the moments. I'm looking forward to the video and the pictures. You did an outstanding job great person to be around very professional and uh, I wish you the best and hope things you have a lot of hunts coming up this year and I'm sure they're gonna be good ones 